In this video, we're going to look at a solution to problem A1 from the 2013 Putnam. So let's look at the statement of the problem. It says, on each face of a regular icosahedron is written a non-negative integer such that their sum is 39. Show that there are two faces that share the same vertex with the same number written on them. And so this may seem like it comes out of nowhere and maybe not everyone knows what a regular icosahedron looks like, but every page of the Putnam exam has a, a icosahedron at the top left or right. I don't remember at the moment. Um, so that gives you some sort of idea for why this is a reasonable question because you can look at the icosahedron while you're working on this problem. So I've done my attempt at drawing an icosahedron on the board right here. And so the thing to notice is that it's a 20-sided um, figure where you have all triangles, so that it's made totally of regular triangles, and at each vertex five triangles meet. And so that's actually we're gonna, what we're going to use to solve this question, the fact that at each vertex five triangles meet. So here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five triangles, and then these guys are kind of in the background or below or something. Okay, good. So uh, in order to solve this problem, we're going to notice the following. So notice that an icosahedron is made of four collections of five triangles. So for example, this would be one of the four collections of five triangles. Um, and now the next thing that we want to do is towards a contradiction, so by way of contradiction, Let's suppose that no two faces sharing a vertex have the same number. So no two faces sharing a vertex have the same number. So for example here we have five faces that share a vertex and so if they don't share the same number it means we can give the one of them the number zero. Notice we have non-negative integers so we can include zero. Then that means this one's not allowed to be zero. It can be one, this one two, this one three, and this one four. And that's the smallest we can make that sum. And in fact since we have four collections of five triangles like this, the smallest that we can make the sum of the total figure would be four times the sum of these numbers. So uh, that means we have the following. So we have the sum uh, total, so of the whole object, has got to be bigger than or equal to four times uh, 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Now there's probably something more intricate going on like with what's going on down here that would push the sum even higher but at least the sum has to be this size just by looking at these four collections of five triangles but now if you add that up that's equal to 4 times 10, which is obviously equal to 40, which is strictly greater than 39, which is where we arrive at our contradiction because it says the sum is 39. And that's the end of this problem.